don't let anyone else know that I told you this about Excel. So if you've been following along with this context or conditional dropdown list exercise I've been doing, I think last couple of times, an obvious question that's been raised is that say, for instance, I add another manufacturer just here. So if I say add in Hi Hyundai, Hyundai, I think that's spelled right. And then I put in um, like the Ionic and then like, I don't know, is it F30? Yeah, whatever. So what I want is basically when I click on this drop down list, you see it doesn't include Hyundai. What I'd have to do is highlight all of this list here, go back to my data validation and change A3 to A4. But let's say I don't want to do that. Let's say, for instance, I want to just add in cars and it will automatically add it to the drop down list. So the way I'm going to do this is by using the offset function. So, so we can clearly understand what's happening. If I close this one off here, I'm going to put the offset function in the top here. So what the offset function does, does a number of things. It takes a reference, which I'm going to do as A1. You can then move that reference if you want. I don't need to in this case. So I'm going to skip over rows by pressing comma and skip over calls, which is columns, by pressing column. But the height I'm going to work out by counting a or count a or which means count alphanumeric. I open a bracket and I'm going to select column A at the top, which selects everything in column A, comma, and then I just want one column in there. So I'm going to type in uh, a one, click enter, and you can see it's picking up Hyundai or Hyundai. That's good. But if I um, do another one here, like a Lambo, there we go. Um, you know, like so, you see it automatically picks up Lambo. So what I can do now, incidentally, you can only see this array in Excel if you are in Excel 365. But what I'm going to do is highlight that, copy it, give you a chance to have a look. And yeah, it's good. Copy it. And then I'm going to select where I want to apply my drop down lists here. Go to this one, which isn't great and update it with the offset function that I've just created and click on OK. So now. I don't need this here because that's for a demonstration. And now when I click, I can just go to my Lambo just here. That's great. And update that. I will also need to update this one just here. I think I'm going to use that or do that in another Excel tutorial. Job done. Almost. <laughs> I will see you next time. <laughs>